All right, so let's uh, let's talk about the confidence interval for proportions, and in in our particular case, sample proportions. So if we we're sampling things, so we already know that uh, x bar is uh, the sample mean, and we know that uh, mu is the population mean. And we know standard deviation has a variance for samples of s squared and for populations sigma squared. And uh, the standard deviation then is s and sigma. So all of this is for sample and these down here are the symbols we use for populations. So this again is variance. and this is standard deviation okay and same up here okay so um, with proportions it's uh, we have a similar set of they have their own symbols so P stands for the the proportion of the population uh, P hat with a little hat over it is the sample proportion. And so there's an entire set of formulas that go along with uh, the sample proportion. So let's just take a look at a problem. So in this particular case it says a sample of 500 nursing applications includes 60 for men. Find the 90% confidence interval of the true proportion of men who applied to the program. So maybe this is a, I don't know who has a good nursing program, but maybe UNL has a, has a nursing program and they, um, they, they only, you know, 10, maybe 5,000 apply every year. And so that's the population. And we're only going to go in and, and look at 500 of the, of the total population. So we've got a sample. And so our p hat, our proportion that are male uh, nurses or male applicants, is um, 60 over 500. Or you could reduce that 6 over 50, uh, 3 over 25. So uh, p hat in our case is 3 over 25. So that's our sample. Ooh our sample proportion. And so we'll convert this, uh, let's just go ahead and convert this to a decimal. 3 over 25 um, is point zero point one two. We'll go ahead and convert that. And then the, you know, also there's Q hat, which is uh, the proportion that are not men. Um, and so that would be 1 minus P hat. And so our Q hat is uh, 0.88. So 88% of our of our sample are female. Okay, so we'll keep it going here. So let's go back to this confidence interval, and this should look similar. Okay, the formula for confidence interval with sample proportions looks like this. P hat minus Z alpha divided by 2, so we're back to a Z score, times the square root of P hat Q hat all divided by N is less than your population proportion is less than your sample proportion plus your Z score uh, alpha divided by 2 square root of p hat q hat all divided by n. So look should look very similar to any confidence interval we've done. And so this again is your maximum error in the sample proportion. So we go ahead and uh, uh, throw in the numbers now. So uh, p hat was 0 0.12 or 0 0.12 
minus, okay, so we need this 90% confidence interval for our z-score. And again, you can go to a multitude of places. Um, I'll just pull up a, a quick uh, a quick book, you know, a book, book page here, maybe. Um, maybe I don't have it. Let me see. Okay, I knew I had it. Here it is. So here's my uh, standard score table again. And uh, alpha divided by 2 is 90. So 90 divided by 2 is uh, 45. So we're looking for 0. 0.450. And so we just go on to our z-score and find that. So here's 0. 0.4505. And here's 0. 0.49. 4495 so it's in between these two and so we're looking at 1.6 and up above so 1.645 1.645 right in between those two and so we'll stick that in here so 1.6 and I'm just going to round that to 6.5, so 1.65, times the square root of p hat, which is 0 0.12, times q hat, your proportion for females, 0 0.88, divided by your population of 500. Okay, it is less than p, and then you just repeat it all uh, again, so 0 0.12, plus 1.65 times the square root of 0 0.12 times 0 0.88 all divided by 500. And so you get your calculator out, do some calculating. You, you know, you could probably plug this into a TI-80 whatever and, and it will also give it to you. And so what we'd end up with is 0 0.12 minus, and we do all the calculations, 0 0.024 is what that rounds to, 0 0.024, is less than P, is less than 0 0.12 plus 0 0.024. And so we have um, proportions that are from, 0 0.96 or yeah 0 0.096 0 0.096 yes and P and um, 0 0.144 so we can say with 90 percent confidence what all that means is we are 90% confident that the population of male nurses or male male <laughs> hilarious of uh, male applicants not male nurses or just people applying because they're not nurses yet so we are 90 percent confident that the population of male applicants um, is between 9.6 percent and 14.4 percent and so you know that gives you a pretty good estimate of how many you know what percentage of our uh, applicants are male and so that is a proportion popu uh, a proportion confidence interval and uh, best of luck I hope this helps you and see you next time